Hello everyone, today I'm planning to test this steel. It's a continuous distillation unit for accidentally mixed diesel and petrol separation. So today's experiment is to recover diesel and petrol from, the, from an accidental fuel mix. But the mix is not going to be an accidental, I'm going to deliberately mix petrol and diesel and then use uh, petrol diesel separator to recover diesel and petrol fuel. Now we're gonna mix the fuel. Here's diesel fuel and it's got approximately 145 kg. It's the density of the fuel, it's diesel. Yeah, the hydrometer is completely sunk and it's definitely petrol, definitely gasoline. So now we're gonna mix everything together and try to recover everything. We'll check the density as well. This is how an accidental mix looks like. It's got density of approximately 750 kg per. And now our goal is to separate diesel and petrol from each other. I set the control unit at approximately 180 degrees Celsius and it will take approximately 5 to 10 minutes for the unit to preheat completely. Gasoline is currently evaporating, uh, but the column is still cold that causes significant reflux effect. So as a result, there is no petrol production yet. So we need to wait until column gained enough temperature for the petrol to be able to rise up to the top of the column. Until then we will not see any significant increase in temperature. 92, 93. Typically when machine reaches approximately 100 degrees Celsius we should observe some start of petrol separation. 99. We are running this machine for the first time and to save time I didn't prime this machine with uh, pure diesel fuel so I decided to run it with mix so as a result we're gonna get some diesel laced with petrol at the diesel separation column of the machine so I will collect this mix separately and later I will run this mix through the machine again so to make sure that there is no petrol in the diesel and no diesel in the petrol. Now you can see the temperature increases, so it means everything goes up the column. Now it's beginning of petrol separation. Every machine requires a different approach in terms of adjustment with certain type, with certain temperature control. So they should work both in unison. So I would need to set it proper temperature range for this particular machine working with this particular temperature controller so later everything's going to be fine now here we've got our petrol stream here's our diesel It's a diesel stream. But the temperature fluctuates between 179 and 180 degrees Celsius right now. So I'm thinking to increase the temperature up to 190 degrees Celsius. Okay. 
is a petrol, petrol stream. Here we got diesel fuel stream coming out. Here's a unit, it's a small one, 1 1.6 kilowatt machine. And this particular machine has the capacity to process up to 20 liters of mixed fuel per hour. And here's our recovery petrol. The petrol uh, appears to be quite cloudy. I believe due to the presence of water within the unit. After constructing the unit, I checked it with water for any possible leaks. So I just filled it up and left it for a while. And I believe not all the water evaporated. It wasn't dried properly. Nevertheless, after a few hours of settling, this petrol will become absolutely transparent. Now get some diesel fuel. The fuel being tested is too warm, approximately 40, maybe 50 degrees Celsius, causing an inaccurate density reading. 800 kgs per cubic meter right now instead of uh, 845 kgs per cubic meter. And it shows 800 kgs instead of 845. So to get an accurate reading, the sample needs to cool down to approximately, not approximately, exactly to 20 degrees Celsius. And uh, then we're going to get a proper reading and we'll check it later once it cools down. Now we've got approximately uh, 845 kg per cubic meter. Diesel fuel sample has cooled down and is now within limits. The recovery process is going well and we expect approximately 10 liter each of diesel and gasoline. Density of the fuel changed and now it's just within the limits of the diesel fuel, everything's fine. The distillation is finished, the drum is empty, so I need to switch the pump off. And I've got a little bit more petrol than diesel. I mixed approximately the same equal portions of diesel and gasoline. And now at the end of distillation I've got more gasoline than diesel. Uh, the thing is, petrol evaporates through the column and all the petrol evaporates from the steel. There is nothing in there but diesel. So, technically, machine stays uh, primed all the time. Once I drain it, I'm gonna get all the diesel, so the portion is gonna be equal. Petrol is evaporating from the column. Diesel that's been used for priming is still within the column later i can remove everything once it cools down i can remove the diesel from the drain underneath of the column from here and, and again portions are equal when you mix or deliberately mix or you know that there's equal amounts of diesel and petrol in most cases you won't know how much petrol or diesel in there unless you do proper testing so it's more about properly adjusted machine and some testing during the distillation and again if you're gonna run your machine continuously every day day after day there is no need to drain it you should still need some diesel within the machine keep it in keep it primed and it will make your life with this particular unit much easier Thank you very much. See you again. There's no fuel supply anymore, but and it still evaporates some petrol. So it's time to switch the machine off.